So okay, we're going to take this challenge to paint this snowy stream. And first, we're going to see how much space we're going to leave it for. Maybe on this side, it almost like a half of the space. Draw the big line first and going to wood on this side. There are some trees on this side and have the uh, water running down in the middle over here. Just get an idea. So don't just draw it and leave it alone. I want you to think about is that create an interesting picture. I just create, make this a little bit bigger because I, I want to have a little bit more change on this side. Okay, like this. And have a little some tree, move this, this, this tree a little bit lower. So I have the space like this. Like that, and I have some tree in the middle, and couple, couple tree over here, a little bit closer in the midground, and the foreground over here, and have the tree like that. So something looks like some scratches that I can make uh, for a few lines over here. Um, okay, I'm gonna move this even a little bit lower, and I'm gonna capture a little bit like a little under construction house okay here not too deep just over there i uh, may or may not going to keep it i'm going to see how it's going to go uh let's see take a look this is the structure of the painting and like that okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to take care of everything on the top over here and leave everything in the snow in the stream we're going to do it later okay I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna see it's only wet the area that is going to be uh, be painted at this stage. Like this. If there's too much, we we'll use a little paper towel to softly remove some. Okay, because I don't want it to be totally too wet. I'm going to use a little smaller flat brush and I'm going to start getting in the background. It has a little bit gray color, a little bit blue, a little bit gray color. It's not bright. Uh, it's not really bright. Uh, yellow green, but the, the trees at the front are a little bit brighter. So I'm going to make this this kind of color for the background. I'm gonna see. Start from the color at the at the back. And also have it a little bit keep a little uh, some see-through light in the background here too. to do it fast and the paper is going to get dry and but the color cannot be too bright in the background I'm going to get a little bit yellow too so make sure it looks a little this is more like gray color right so I don't want that to be so there. Okay. come back over here and give a little more and the bottom Okay, I'm gonna come here to start having uh, some smaller line, smaller tree, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of water and coming over here to give a. This is good. Now I'm gonna coming into the little bit more green color for the tree. I'm gonna let go a little bit over here in the sky. Let go of those colors and maybe let go of some of the color over here too. Okay, that's good. Let go, let go something over there. I do need a little bit of sky to show through. So you can do this is why is this still wet? I'm gonna open a little bit row and going into the distance. Okay, now 
I'm gonna change to the round brush. I'm gonna now I'm gonna make green color, right? Just get the yellow color over here. A bit more yellow. I'm gonna walk into this tree. Okay, watch out to see how how the paper drying. It's just all suggestions. Darker color for the shadow area. A little bit darker. Okay, too much red. I need to blend it a little bit uh, even. So come back over here. I'm going to give it a little bit more green colors. Now I'm gonna come into this side. This is getting drier and drier. I get a big, it's, it's more more risky now. I'm gonna come here. Okay. Come into this side. Some darker color. Ooh, too much red. Some darker color. Underneath. So I have some darker color uh, as a shadow. And over here, some color. For the trunk coming up. For this one now. And okay, now I'm gonna get this sword. What I want to do now, I'm going to do a little bit of lifting up just for and maybe over here to have some color lift in like that. I look more like a tree. It's just almost like a dry brush. Right? And maybe I'm gonna remove this for the trunk. I'm gonna redo the trunk after it dries. A little bit more like a brown color. Now, while we're waiting for this uh, the effect, uh, we're gonna do uh, some color underneath over here. Smaller shape. Like that. And over here too. The edge is supposed to be underneath here. Have some shadow. Now here we go. Now we're gonna keep working onto the lower part. And first we're gonna set a little color for this stream. We're gonna see this the whole big shape. A little bit cool colors. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna change the location now. Change it to this side. Look at it. Now, leave the white area for the snow. Okay, now keep it coming back here. That's the first rung on the stream. It's important to keep the white space. It will be easier to keep it right now. I'm gonna put this a little snow in the middle. Okay, I'm coming back over here. Okay, there's some on this side. You know we need to do the second layer uh, in the stream. Make it make some darker area like that. That's good, All right? Some snow. And maybe have this open up a little bit more. So think about how the shape look, make it look interesting. 
Uh, now what I want to do in here, I want to have this a little bit lighter, have some water running effect, some kind of bubble, right? Have a little bit lighter, have a little bit lighter over here too. Now I'm going to give a over here too in the background, and I'm going to now getting a little bit darker color. Now the dark color, we only use the three colors, you know how to make it darker, right? The red and the blue is the darkest color in this too. And if you put these two colors together, it's always look darker. So I'm going to start on the edge over here. Now we can see a little edge over here, like that. Like that, even darker. I want to get a little bit more of the blue and red colors. Now here you go. And then over here too. Like that, and this area, dark, like that. Now, here we go. We're gonna get a little bit green colors. A little bit green color. In this area, in this star, you can see the color in the water. And a little green color over here too. Like that. You're going to connect the imagination and you're going to feel like, oh, there's this water running down. Um, I all want you to think about is the color and how dark, how big is the color? And the color connect together, it create the illusion of water running down in this stream. Make this a little bit lighter, this. Okay, and have a little color connected in here too, okay. I don't want to see too much red, so I'm going to put a little green color in here. Okay. Now, all right. Now I'm going to switch my attention to go to the side over here. Have some very light uh, gray color, very light gray color, but a little bit blue. So I'm going to take this color, right? Very light. This is light enough. I'm going to tap it. This is like a footprint or some kind of something that uneven that going through over here and couple and have a little bit have a little stone over there too but don't touch that unless you want the color connect to here uh, to the new color like that if it's too dark you can use the water to just light it up a little bit right that's easy okay now I'm gonna come back over here and add a, a few more have those connect to this color. A little light shadow on this side. Okay, now I'm gonna to switch to the other side over here. I might want to have a little bit showing the depth of this snow. Like this. Okay. Showing the depth of the snow. Pretty easy. Now I'm going to use, make it even a little bit lighter for uh, on the snow, like that, a little bit over here, a little bit over there. Don't have to follow exactly what the uh, reference showing you. You can use your own theory and you can say, oh, this is some, some snow over here. I, I want to have footprint on the other side. It's all up to you. And it looks like a little bit too much. I'm gonna probably let go some of them. I'm gonna softly just lift up some of the mark. If you think it's too much, you can do it at any time. You can do it after you dry. I'll do a little bit uh, even now. Okay, now I'm gonna shift my attention around. I'm gonna give it even darker details uh, on the edge, some area. to showing really deep under the water, uh, under the snow. So I'm gonna give a little bit more definition over here. Good. A little bit more and give a little bit darker. See? A really sharp contrast. Okay. 
Over here too. This is dark. Okay. Alright, a little bit over here. Those are very interesting area. They create a nice contrast. Like that. And now I'm gonna come over here. My brush is pretty dry, actually. I'm gonna also capture that a little bit uncovered area. Like that. And I'm gonna soften that a little bit, connect that. Okay, it's good. And on this side, give a couple. I'm not sure I get, we're gonna do that much. Like this. A little bit over there. And I maybe have a little bit of, a little bit branch, a small branch coming up. A little bit. If you want, like that. Oh, that's good. Now we're gonna come back, look at, oh, I wish they have a little bit more of those white dots. So I'm gonna remove those. I'm gonna do this one more time. So I'm gonna do that after I fix some of the area, like the trunk over here, the tree trunk, and I'm gonna mix that color first. And it need to be really dark, so I'm gonna make sure I have enough dark color was blue and red and I put a little bit green color which I have yellow right so this is probably pretty dark and make sure warm enough okay I'm gonna come down to the bottom over here see the tree trunk now you can add that to there I have a little bit over here Like that. Over here. Use the side of the brush, so blend the color while you're painting. This. So, ah, they're all connected together pretty well. So, I'm gonna have that color, blend it a little, like that. Um, and take a look on this side. This side a little bit farther away, so I don't want to make it so as clear as the other side. So what I'm going to do, instead of adding dark color, I'm going to just get a little bit lifting off and set a little bit detail because I don't want it to be that dark. Let's add a little suggestion. A little bit and have a, a little bit lighter uh, dark color and have a couple tree coming up like that and uh, maybe a couple on this side like that. And maybe have a little bit Lift it out. I do want to have a little bit lighter area, so I'm going to use lifting off to see it a little bit lighter. Right. So those techniques you already know how to do it. Um, just sometimes you just don't know which one to use at that moment. Okay. Maybe one more. There is uh, a house over there. A building the house over there kind of ignore it. and from the time to come back here to give it a little bit suggestions like that so now let's come back to the background this color a little bit great I don't want it to be too bright let go any leftover thought in this area, ready? Start over here. Okay. All right. 
Okay, continue. Might be in the similar. Watch how much. You don't want to put too much. 